Welcome back, everyone, to the Daily Dizzle for Thursday, July 7th, 2011. Tommy Dizzlemitz here, as always. we got a few things to cover from the television side of the entertainment spectrum today. So uh, here's some of the news that made me a very happy boy. In case you haven't heard, Charlie Sheen is going to be the guest of honor this year at the Comedy Central Roast. It's going to be awesome, though uh, pretty much uh, you kind of know the material they're going to go with. It's the material that people have been going with for the whole year so far. But originally the guest was going to be Kid Rock. However, Kid Rock wanted uh, them to have the event in his hometown, you know, Detroit. And uh, there was no way fiscally that Comedy Central was going to be able to pull it off. If they had done that, it was going to be in August. But since they had to, you know, go with the uh, backup plans, and Kid Rock would refuse to do it if he couldn't do it in his hometown, uh, Charlie Sheen obviously was uh, willing to step up and get a little bit more exposure for himself. The one thing that's going to suck, though, is uh, Lisa Lampanelli, you know, the queen of mean. She undoubtedly is the best roaster on there now that Greg Giraldo is no longer around for the roasts. But at this point, she had already taken a, a gig that is apparently scheduled on the same night. So uh, she says as of now, she might not be able to make it, but come hell or high water, she's going to be coming for Charlie Sheen. So uh, it will be very disappointing if she doesn't come along. I think the only other roast she didn't do was the Joan Rivers one because she just fucking hates Joan Rivers. Which, uh, for Lisa Lampanelli to not show up at a roast is probably more of an insult if she were to come and do her worst possible act towards you. So, we'll have more info on that as the Charlie Sheen roast gets a little bit closer. Now, for fans of Law & Order SVU, while it sucks that uh, Christopher Maloney, Stabler, is not going to be returning beyond the beginning of the next season, uh, there were rumors that Benson was going to be leaving as well. However, she is apparently signed in and to at least appear in all 22 episodes of the upcoming new season. Not only that, but you'll also have some familiar cast members popping up. Diane, Neil, and Stephanie March, who you guys would know as the two girl ADAs who were the longest lasting ADAs on SVU. Pretty much it seems like you can't pop on an old episode on the USA Network without seeing at least one of their two faces popping up. They're both going to be returning during this season. So very interesting that you've got uh, one ADA who doesn't like to follow the law and the other one who's supposedly dead and then came back and then went back into hiding and is back out of hiding. And they never really explained why she was back out of hiding, but came up with the story randomly. Law well, doesn't really think ahead when it comes to their stories. They just think what's good for the time. But at the same time, what the show needs now with one of the familiar faces leaving is as many of the other ones to come in to make everyone feel comfortable while we're trying to get used to the new cast members that they are bringing in. However, you do have to look at things realistically from the other side. With Stabler leaving, that leaves only three members of the original crew, Benson, the captain, and Munch, who are still around, who've been there from the beginning till now. Law & Order SVU is the only Law & Order still putting out new episodes since Criminal Intent just finished up its run and Law & Order LA got canceled after one season. Hell, the original Law & Order didn't even get a proper send-off. They just finally ended it. So, really, this could be the way of uh, Dick Wolf and the creators trying to bring in the people who've been most beneficial to the Law & Order brand to kind of say their goodbyes, considering there's a good chance that the new cast members don't work out, if the ratings are not what they were last season even, uh, this could be it for Law & Order. So, who knows how it'll go, but expect that it shouldn't be a shitty season. And if we're talking about expectations for having a decent season at the very least, we can't not talk about Entourage. Sunday, July 24th is when it starts up the final season, about two and a half weeks away from that. Sometimes the problem with Entourage is, like last season, didn't seem like a whole lot was happening. I mean, every episode had things going on, but it seemed like the same shit different day. Oh, Vinny's a drug addict. Vinny's, you know, kind of possessive of his porn star girlfriend, blah, blah, blah. You know, some of that can get a little bit old when you know that nothing's going to happen to the last two minutes of the episode, and when finally something does happen, it's the cliffhanger to next week's episode. However, with the way the last season ended, with Vinny Chase going into full Lindsay Lohan mode, it's going to be very amazing to see what they do, especially when you think about the fact that they've been plotting to do an Entourage movie for years. In fact, Mark Wahlberg said after The Fighter came out, you know, and they wanted to do a trilogy for that, they're working on a trilogy of Entourage films. And the one good thing is, at least as the episodes start to wind down and there's less and less time left on the show, more and more rumors and news should be popping up about the potential movie, or whether it's dead in the water. So, we'll have a follow-up on all of that. Once Entourage starts for the season, it's definitely going to be a crazy end of the summer, no doubt about that, but... That's all the time we've got for today's Daily Dizzle. We thank you guys for joining us here as always. Be sure to check back here tomorrow where we'll have a preview of the weekend box office. 
We'll let you know if Transformers is going to continue its winning ways. We'll let you know just how much further Green Lantern's expected to bomb off the maps. And we'll have a bunch of other movie analysis as well. That does it for me for the Daily Dizzle. I'm Tommy Dizzlemitz. We'll see you guys back here Friday. Mm -hmm.